Just think about the cojones you would have to have to disturb an angry spitting cobra. The beast was not here for the foolishness. A king cobra and a python get into a brief skirmish. My question is why is the python holding his head like this? Did perhaps he get bitten and the venom is taking effect? I mean this is pretty insane. A young boy is chilling on the couch with a huge anaconda that's like a mile long. I hope the anaconda never has a bad day. The only reason I'm doing this is because this one's a python and as you see he won't bite because he can't eat me and he doesn't feel scared, um, he doesn't feel, I don't scare him so he won't bite and he hasn't got venom. Here's a video from 1991 when the late great Steve Irwin encounters a python he claimed wouldn't bite him but well it did just that. In From a distance to, to tell a python from a... Um, I might have to cut him biting my neck. Well, if I watch the telly, I should be able to. Can you get a close in on this? Oh my god. Beautiful, Abba. Correct. Here's a heartwarming video where some bystanders give a very thirsty Indian cobra a little something to drink. Look, I love animals, y'all know that, but hell to the gnaw. This snake would perish of thirst if it had to wait on me to do this. But kudos to these people. You know, when I think of my childhood, there are a few voices that come to my head. What's up? What's up? What's up? With that said, perhaps no voice looms larger than one of my idols, Sir David Attenborough. You can't have watched any amount of animal videos like in your life without hearing his iconic voice. Here, he puts on a mask and gets purposely sprayed by a spitting cobra. There are some snakes that not only use their venom to kill their prey, but have also found a way of using it to deter their enemies without even biting them. Venom spurts from its fangs. Well, I was well and truly sprayed. Every one of those pink dots is a bead of venom. And if any one of them had gone in my eye, I would be now blind and in extreme pain. <laughs> When I first watched this, I thought it was like a pet cobra or something, but nah, this man is actually doing this to a wild king cobra. Wowzers.
Ganun. A man in Australia observes a python that would actually become a frequent visitor to his house and they kind of become friends. A king cobra is fed up with these humans and is close to showing them before he is subdued. What animal do I keep telling you is not one to mess with? Perhaps the most ferocious animal in the world, pound for pound, is the honey badger. A python almost sends this one to badger heaven before, with a little help from a jackal of course, the ferocious animal turns the table on the snake. How much would they have to pay you to go underwater and this close to a wild anaconda? A group of people are fed up with the snake problem in Florida and team up to hunt the majestic serpents. An invasive species in the Florida Everglades is threatening the area's sprawling ecosystem. Burmese pythons are, are apex predators at the top of the food chain. South Florida has hired 25 top hunters to capture and kill the snakes. A nearly 17 foot long python was killed last week. Now it is the longest captured so far in this program. Have a articulating jaw and that allows them to be able to, to eat and swallow uh, just massive objects that you would not think that a snake could do. Leo Sanchez and Nicholas Banos nabbed this 15 footer. It weighed 144 pounds. We saw up close the one Sanchez and Banos caught. Dead but still intimidating. I do this because it needs to be done. In hunters like him, this opportunistic predator may finally have met its match. The lightning quick mongoose has an encounter with a black mamba. Oh, that's not a happy snake. That is awesome. A python finds out that bagging a leopard is not as easy as it thinks. Here's an oldie but goodie with footage of a tiger versus an enormous python. Coral snakes are highly venomous, 
But this guy handles one like a doggone earthworm or something. Very pretty snake. Very deadly snake. Very docile snake. And you can always tell if it's a coral snake or not because he's got a black head. All coral snakes, the end of their head is black. And I'm only shaking because of the coffee. This is the fear snake. Oh, 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 oh. Come here, mate. The most venomous snake in the world. This is one wild unit. This is the snake you don't want to get tagged by because it possesses enough venom to kill. Steve Irwin handles the most venomous snake in the world, the Inland Tapan. In one bite, to kill a hundred blokes my size. Look at the coloration. Beautiful coloration. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa. Settle down, mate. Yo, you wouldn't want to take a whack off a snake this size. To share territory, share space with such a beautiful animal. Oh, steamer. I gotta tell you, I'd rather deal with this snake than a lot of people I know. This guy like wants to be swallowed by an anaconda, like on purpose. All right, now to this stunt that is getting a lot of attention, and you'll see why. Conservationist Paul Rosalie set out to be eaten alive by a green anaconda, the world's largest and most powerful snake. It's a mission through the Amazon that was documented in a new Discovery Channel special. Take a look. So I had to be able to survive the crush part. So we had a carbon fiber suit designed, and then we made sure that I'd be able to breathe in case I actually did make it inside the anaconda. And then we put pig's blood on the outside to make me as appealing as possible, make me smell like a prey item to the snake. How, how does an anaconda go about swallowing a human being of your size? Is that head first? Is that feet first? How does that generally go Well, you got to go, go head first. You know, feet first, you'd be a little bit head first. Everything is very streamlined. And whether it's a deer or a crocodile or a mouse, when snakes eat, they almost always eat head first because that's the way it goes smooth. So for me, you got to go head first. <laughs> An up close encounter with a pretty docile wild boa constrictor in Brazil. This guy goes to catch a wild anaconda by hand. Look, I wouldn't do this for a million dollars, like, I'm not kidding female is unbelievably powerful I'm going, I'm going. and has a mouthful of very sharp teeth. See, see, see. Listen to her hiss. Yeah, she's not too happy. We're going to put her back in the water again right away because she's in the middle of a shed and she's not too happy right now, but we're not going to hurt her. Everybody's clear? Yeah. Okay. There she goes. You guys look. I'm literally sitting face to face with the wild and highly venomous Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. I have no idea how this genius avoided getting bitten by this agitated rattlesnake, but somehow he did. Why are people so crazy? Watching, I'm Curtis. See you next time. Well in the sand like a fish on land. Like a fish on land.